Welcome back to another ski boat service video from skiboatpartsonline.com. My name is Ron and today we're going to take a look at removing the shaft couplings from both a direct drive and a V-drive configuration and also introduce a new tool we developed which is now available for our shaft coupling removal tool. Thank you and enjoy the video. Here we see a conventional direct drive inboard coupling. This coupling is the rusty part in the middle of the boat. Now here we have the same conventional type coupling that uh, has been unbolted and is split apart and it is perfectly acceptable to uh, put a spacer between the shaft and the transmission coupling and then replace the four coupling bolts with slightly longer bolts and tighten those and it will press the prop shaft out. Uh, this is an old school method that has been used for, uh, successfully for years uh, and is perfectly fine to do. Uh, it takes a little bit longer than using a puller uh, but it's an acceptable way of removing the, the coupling from the shaft. This end view is of a modern double taper shaft that uh, the coupling is retained with a nylock nut inside the coupling. Uh, old school couplings that are straight shaft will simply have a keyway and set screws. They, the set screws must be removed but the procedure is the same to push the shaft out. Um, on uh, more modern double taper shafts you may find this type nut. You may be unlucky and find a castle nut with a cotter pin in it. Uh, another vendor uses that. Um, the cotter pin in that case must be pulled out. It's not easy to do. I generally will, uh, uh, once I get that off, I will replace a castle nut with a nylock nut. There's another style I've seen that has a, uh, a lock nut with a set screw that is driven in through the body of the coupling and the set screw rests against the flat of the nut to keep the nut from backing off. So before you attempt to push any shaft out, make sure that the retaining nut or the set screws or all of them have been removed uh, and then a little extra uh, WD-40 or your favorite uh, penetrating oil uh, in there will also help. Here's a look at our new uh, TRD uh, coupling removal press. Uh, this is uh, machined for us uh, out of half inch thick high strength steel. It has uh, two bolt patterns, the uh, standard 4-inch Borg Warner style coupling and also the 5-inch uh, coupling pattern. I'm shipping these with two press bolts, uh, the short and the long, uh, and that should be able to get uh, both V-drives and all conventional drives removed. Okay, I'm going to show you how we use our coupling removal tool. Um, I don't have a direct drive boat in the shop right now. Uh, I have a V drive in here, so we've got a new prop shaft and coupling I put in the vise. And uh, we start by removing the uh, retaining nut. Um, that's going to be a nylock style nut that holds uh, the coupling to the shaft. Uh, being a double tapered shaft, uh, this coupling is pressed on there pretty good. Now, remember to see if your style coupling has a uh, set screw that goes down against the flat of the nut or if it has a, a cotter pin that's uh, holding the castle nut in. Now here we're going to uh, apply the press tool. Uh, you're simply going to use the same bolts that you already had in the boat uh, that attach the uh, coupling to the transmission coupling and you're going to tighten these up. Now you'll see in a minute this is going to look like it's pretty cockeyed and it is. It's important that the uh, puller be as square to the face of the coupling as possible. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect but the closer it is the better it is. Um, what you simply need to do is uh, uh, loosen a couple of the nuts and tighten the others so that it appears by eye to be uh, square. Obviously this is cockeyed. So we're going to loosen the uh, ones that are too tight and then tighten the ones uh, to square it up. Finger tight is all that's necessary at this point as long as they're all snug. 
Now you can run the uh, press nut or press bolt, I'm sorry, into the tool and grab your backup wrench and begin turning the uh, press screw into the press. Don't be surprised if this takes a good bit of effort. Um, a little oil on the threads uh, will go a long ways uh, and now it's obviously loose and the coupling is coming off. Don't lose the keyway. And then you can remove the tool. Fast and uh, simple. Um, a lot easier than trying to fiddle with a spacer uh, in between there and finding some longer bolts uh, to put in there to get it apart. The next one we're going to do is uh, a bit more challenging and that is the V-Drive. They, uh, they, they can be a headache. There you go. There are two types of V-Drives out there in the ski boat world. Uh, the first one uh, the coupling will remain under the gearbox and you will use the same method as a direct drive. It's just much more difficult to service and get to. The second type is the what we call here a pass-through gearbox where the prop shaft literally uh, goes through a hollow section of the transmission and exits the, uh, the back of the transmission or uh, back of the engine and typically it is very close to the fuel tank. Uh, virtually all the ski boats that come in our shop, the, ski, uh, the fuel tank is right there and the uh, access is very limited. Uh, in this case the fuel tank was only a half inch away from the uh, coupling nut so the fuel tank had to be slid forward uh, as far as it would go which gave us just enough room to access it. Here's a little closer view of the coupling. Now on most of these you're going to find uh, the larger 5 inch bolt pattern. Um, I have no idea how this coupling could be removed without the puller tool that we're about to show you. Um, especially with the fuel tank as close as it was. Uh, this particular coupling has already been serviced and uh, was quite rusty and seized on there. Um, but the tool pulled it off with no issue. Uh, this is actually a picture after the uh, coupling was reinstalled, reconditioned, and realigned. To remove the large coupling nut, uh, I will use a, a long pry bar against uh, the head of the bolt and the body of the coupling. Uh, use that as your brace and then you can uh, turn the large nut off. With the coupling nut removed, you can now install the puller tool or puller press. Um, you will need to supply your own longer bolts to attach it. Um, we do supply the press bolt in the middle and it's both a short and a long. In this case, <clears throat> because the fuel tank is so close, we have to use the short bolt. Okay, you're going to use two wrenches uh, once the puller is installed. Uh, the first to hold the puller uh, steady, the other to turn the press bolt in, pushing the prop shaft out. Uh, next we're going to show actual video of using the tool.
the puller has pushed the prop shaft back. The coupling is now loose and we can remove the puller and the coupling will slide right off. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.